Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be starting my adventure in No Man's Sky. So, I have been waiting for this game for a very long time, and it's finally here. At least a few days later than it is on PS4, but still, it was hopefully worth the wait. Let's see where we start. So many star systems. This is pretty insane. <laughs> Already, just the opening screen. Initialize. Oh, I would. Okay. Commencing admin system suit initialization. It looks very. Life support systems icy. activated. Hence the snow. And hence my temperature. Well, scanner damaged, repair required. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Jetpack. What the hell is that? That little orb thing in the sky. Well, I have been waiting for this game for a very, very long time. Since it was first announced. Planet Arayum Polynus. Snowy. Low security. This is a very snowy planet. Well, wow. it's a little uh, tower thingy there. So damn, this game. Do I have the jetpack? The FPS is slightly low, but I can live with that. 30 FPS. Debris! Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment I can see debris, and the other a vast red orb. Almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me inside and out, more than I could ever, my ever could myself. Okay, that's weird. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or in my hazy, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind. Atlas. Atlas? Really? I swear Atlas is used in almost like every game. Like Tales from the Borderlands. Borderlands itself. Freaking Call of Duty, one of the games. And I could go on. But let's get past that. And a request made without words. That I should follow the path this being, this Atlas has set for me. Now I'm going to presume... I'm going to presume this is like a little advice on what you're actually supposed to be doing, so I'm going to take this. Hopefully it's not a giant change. I was lost, but now I'm found. And hopefully I didn't just screw myself over. Should be okay. Oh, I have a little cave here. Damn, I still don't even really know what I'm doing. New technology discovered. Starship energy shield is strengthened. Provides added protection from laser fire. Oh, okay. Aronium. One atlas pass required. Whoa, what was that? Hmm, okay. Interesting. I probably could get in my uh, starship at the moment. Let's have a look. I wonder what I have to do to repair it. Vital launch and landing gear system. User is advised that plutonium is required to recharge thruster. Launch procedures require sufficient fuel levels before activation. Hold W to take off from planet space to initiate in-flight speed boost. See, so it's critically damaged. Probably something I shouldn't stay in there for too long. Restore point saved, and the uh, thing seems to have picked up a little bit. Let's gather some iron. Yeah, I saw that bar at the top. I wasn't sure if that meant it was going to overheat or not. 
Honestly, not really any clue of what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> but that's the whole point of this, isn't it? Make your own adventure. So this Atlas Pass thing, um, I'm probably going to have to find that. Although there is a little question mark down here that I should probably arrive to, I would say. Whoa. Did I just... I thought I fell through the floor then. This tree. Wait, you can destroy trees? <laughs> okay. This floating stone... That's what that is. They're just floating stones all about the planet. That's cool. Oh, and I thought that they were buildings. They're not. They're like weird sticky up platform parts. What a strange planet. Oh, hello. Um, scanner drones. Could you, uh, leave me alone? Is it advisable to go down there? I would possibly say not. Because unless my jetpack could bring me all the way back up here. Which uh, I'm not saying is going to be that likely. Although I do have a feeling I have to go to one of these points. How far away is that one? That one's closer. Uh oh. Almost went really badly. Ooh. These caves are nice. really like to uh, get out of there though. Ooh, what's this? More carbon. Whoa, okay. Alright, feels like I might have to arrive at my location soon. Hmm. It's interesting. These look man-made, don't they? Those little spire things coming down from the roof. But I'm going to take a wild guess to say they're not. Oh, I didn't actually have to mine that. Alright, can I... I can't actually go that high with this jetpack. Hmm, okay. So I doubt I'll be able to make it all the way over there. Where is it I'm trying to get to? That's not the one. My ship's over that way. Over there? I completely lost where I'm supposed to be going now, guys. Oh, all the way over there. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to grab some of that because I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be grabbing. Oh, tab. Hold on. Let's have a look in here then. So, it said Starship. Launch thrust. I need some map. Cartite. Carite sheet? Okay. And uh, more carite sheets. I have the zinc. I need some heridium. Oh, this is a lot easier to understand than I first thought. Okay, so carite sheets. Um, how do I make those? Maybe I find them. I'm not too sure at the moment. The scanner. How do I build this? There we go. Analysis vision. Extreme night temperature detected. Oh wow. Allows users to tag identified planetary creatures. Sure. Um although this heat thing sounds like it could be very dangerous. Or maybe these are all the car right sheets I need to find, these little questions marks. Ooh. It's a little space station area. It's pretty cool. I like this. Hmm. You got crops growing out here. You got little laser beams. Right, I'll explore that after I've uh, checked out what this question mark is all about. Gajuz Dell. Arrive in eight seconds. Oh, is this just a safe one? Hmm. 
I'm not entirely sure what I just did. Okay, well, at, no, at least now I know where that is. Shelter. Okay. Uh, I would say it's probably advisable I get inside one of these buildings before it turns to night time, seeing as that temperature warning was quite straightforward. Do I need anything to get inside this building? No, I do not. Oh. There's some weird ass guy in here. Um, hello? Viking. Okay, whatever you say. The warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. It inhales deeply and barks at what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful, and he knows little of this kind of language. It takes a second to think, then suddenly grabs my multi-tool. Wow, okay. While barking again into my visor. Streaking it with saliva? Okay. It's pointing at the indicator that shows which elements I carry. I do my best to keep calm. Um, Carbon? The warrior gives me a technology blueprint, and it teaches me some of the language of its people. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Is this like a place where there's loads of these guys then? Faster mining beam processes on resource rich materials. User will enjoy quicker element extraction from crystals, rocky outcrops, and planetary vegetation. Operates automatically once constructed within user's multi tool inventory. Hmm. So I still need some more of this Heridium. I need to uh, kind of find out where I get that from. This leads out to, I would presume, a landing pad. This is pretty cool, right? Cargo drop. Gek charm. Shielding shard. My jetpack's depleted. Need a bypass chip. Oh, I wonder what the hell that was scanning around me for a second. Uh, again, an atlas pass for that. Okay, I'm gonna head back inside. Oh, what's this? Silent Insight 13? I'm not entirely sure what any of this means. Is this on about mine? I'm going to presume it is. So I have no projectiles, no lasers. Uh, compare. That is a lot of units. Okay, I'm going to presume that's his multi-tool, and I'm just uh, checking how much better it is than mine. Still would not have a clue, though. Oh, really? A locked door? Sensitivity is slightly too high for me. Right, I think I've fixed it. Why does it say wait for jetpack to recharge when I'm just using it right now? That's strange. Again, another bypass chip. Okay, I want to kind of uh, find a way to get inside one of these buildings. What is this? New technology. Reload Accelerant Sigma. Okay, so basically extra reload speed. Again, I need some more heridium for that though. Check stock transfer. Wait, what? Okay, sure. <laughs> Just randomly got some units for doing nothing as far as I can tell. Hmm. Okay, so I found this place and it's given me a lot of stuff. Research specimen. Your standing with the Viking has increased. So I'm just gonna call them Vikings. Just because it's what they sound like. The Norse gods. Um Is that all the buildings? Have I explored them all?
Hmm, that was a destroying one, okay. Right, ships over that way. Again, is really complicated to get over to, though. I might have to go and check inside the building again, just because I want to, uh... I'll get too cold, just because of how cold it is out here. Some heridium. Uh, I might head over that way. Arrive in 138. There was another one like, over there somewhere. Ah, up there. Arrive in 159. Alright, so I think I'll head down to the other one first. Just want to get inside to warm myself up. The I'm guessing the thing on the left is how cold I am. Let's see if I can talk to this guy again, see if anything he says makes sense. Wait, what? Do I not have 20 carbon? That is strange. Okay, let me have a look. Yes, I have a lot of carbon. Ah, I can transfer stuff to my starship. Um, craft products in inventory slots. Alright, send that back to the ship. Send, um, this back to the ship. Same with these, because I have no idea what they're for. Okay, right, that should work. Ah, I'm doing quests with this guy, I'm presuming. Interloper something. The warrior hackles rise. The warrior's hackles rise, and it starts to shake in anticipation of my request. I sense that its ancestors are likely to be offended if I push the issue too far. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to request healing, I'm going to request this. The warrior agrees to help. Visual. Okay, this is going to take a very long time to learn all the words, I'm presuming. Uh, <laughs> right, let me do this again. I want to try and learn some more words, seeing as I'm on this planet. Are not currently insulted. It makes friendly barking noises. Oh, I can't actually do any of that. Never mind. I can only learn one word. Do you give me my money back? Yes, he does. What a nice guy. Hey? So how long is this uh, night type cycle for? I'm going to presume it's different for different planets just because, well, let's face it, that's kind of usually what you'd expect. That's pretty cool. So far. Feels like my movement's very slow for, well, planet size exploration. Iron? Yeah, I thought I could pick something up there, but I don't know. Interesting. Crying side. Cry a knife. I'm not even gonna try and say whatever this is supposed to be. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I'm just exploring around and gathering random materials. Quite a lot of this game reminds me of Subnautica. It's got a very Subnautica feel to it. I guess I can hope to find some more stuff because I don't really want to die. Platinum. Nice. But yeah, another building would be advisable, I would say. What's this? Oh, just some more iron? I accidentally hit my microphone there. <laughs> there we go. Safely over. Right, how close is this? Ah, close enough. Hopefully it's uh, another building. But again, I wouldn't know. As soon as this game drops you in with no advice on what's going on. The Pira Plains. Well, that's going to take a long time to destroy. Ooh. How do I... I have no idea how I scan, and that thing is really weird. 
Right, so I don't have any heridium. Does this restore my uh, stuff or not? I discovered on this planet. Is there any way that I can rename? Because that's what I was looking into. Renaming stuff. What is this? Interact. What the heck? Terminal boot service. Login admin shadow holder stat. Well, oh, okay, that's weird. Buy items from the Galactic Trade Network. Do you have any Heredium? Um, I can buy one. Sure, why not? Um, so I need some more units if I want to buy from them. The stuff that I need. I could sell some stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, I would I prefer to keep that. So one for those units. I haven't found a use for this yet. Um, I'm gonna sell that many, and hopefully I can buy some more of these. No, I can't. Well, I should be able to. I mean, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Let's have a look in the inventory for a second then, shall we? Uh, oh right, that takes up a whole slot. That's bad. Uh, I'll send this back to the ship. I'll send the plutonium, the carbon, the platinum. Right, here we go. And I should be able to head back to the ship after I buy these. Uh, I just need two. There we go. Let's have a look in here, see if I can fix my thruster polis engine. Right, so now I just need some heridium and two more of those sheets. I'm going to head back to the ship just because of how crazy everything is getting out here with my temperature and my life signals and stuff. I'd prefer not to die. Some plutonium. So this heridium. I've got to find a way how to find that. I should probably have checked how far away the ship actually is. Ah, it's not too far. I think I'll get there in time to uh, heal up a little. This is interesting. I mean, I would have expected to have left the planet already, but I'm happy that I haven't because... Doing more exploration like this is a lot better. I don't think you take any falling damage either. Which is good. Or at least from what I can tell so far. Probably should have waited for my jetpack to fully recharge before. Whoa, that was lucky. Before trying anything like that. Um, you can keep your carbon for now. I have a feeling this is the way we came at the beginning. We found some Vikings. I'm also going to have to find out how to rename stuff. Because that was one of my promises, to rename things after my subscribers. Because that would be pretty funny. You have unredeemed items. To claim them, please use the options menu. I will do that at some point. I'm just hoping that my spaceship heals my health and stuff. There we go. Restore. And we have the rest of the stuff to find. So then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance and I'll speak to you all next time.